Okay, there we go. Had some technical difficulties, but we are here. Alas. Uh, I don't know about you, but I have felt like all week I've been running around and trying to do everything for everything all the time. <laughs> so, yeah, if you're feeling the same this week, know you're not alone. It has been a busy time. Okay, so... Let me just make sure everything is set up after all of the technical delays. Do do. Yes, we are good. We are Gucci. Okay. Well, if you are new here, I'm Sammy. I am doing this fun little live stream every Sunday night. It's supposed to be at 10 o'clock every night. <laughs> but you know what? We we take what life throws us and we roll with the punches. Especially knowing that this is a really, really low stakes live stream and it's not like meant to be super high pressure or anything like that. So for me it's a it's a good lesson in not being so stressed or pressed if every if there's like glitches or something that goes wrong or, you know. Um, I don't know about you, I'm a perfectionist, and uh, having something not go exactly as I planned is really frustrating. <laughs> but sometimes it's like that, you know? Some days, some weeks, some anything, it's like that. Um, but, yeah, how are you? How has your week been? Has it been good? Has it been bad? Has it been not memorable or really no distinguishable qualities? Has it been a quality I haven't mentioned? I don't know. Um, yeah, I hope it was good. And if it wasn't, I'm sorry. I hope this next week is better. Um, I also have, again, my little um, frame drop that I'm not quite I won't drop you. Um, I won't drop the mic either. We are carrying multiple things in our hands today, and this is dangerous. Um, I have my little beep boop. We'll do this eventually. Um, there we go. This is as much as I'm getting it into the frame so it doesn't drop all over the floor. Whoa! My little color changing. There we go. Um, thing. Trying not to drop it because she is awkward to hold. <laughs> so, I would love to finally, I'd love to get a setup where like I could set my computer farther up. I could technically, but I only have so much desk space um, to work with. But I would love to get it set up so like a webcam could be farther up. This could be more in the shot. I don't have to move it every time. I could have it closer to the mic so it could be a little bit more, more ambient noise. I don't really know how much it's picking up. I just switched over to this mic this week because last week I wasn't able to get it set up and this week we got it. Um, I feel like this live stream has just had like struggle after struggle technically every single week. Um, but I don't know, maybe it's a, maybe it's like a good omen in the sense where get all of the big struggles out of the way now. And then, you know, as things get sorted out, when struggles come up, it'll get easier to manage and we'll be like, no big deal after a while, you know? Practice makes perfect. Or as when I was in school, there was a, a teacher that I didn't have, but she was one of the other, like, second grade teachers. Um, and uh, she wasn't over my class. And I remember she would always tell her kids, practice makes permanent. And I remember, you know, being seven years old and not knowing what that meant. So I was thinking, practice makes permanent. What are you talking about? Um, and I've 
contemplated on that thought, like, from childhood into adulthood, trying to figure out what she meant still. And I don't know. My take on that is she means if you practice something over and over again, it becomes a habit, it builds habits. Um, you know, if you start practicing things that are good for you, eventually those good things will become a habit. Same thing with bad things. If you're only practicing things that are unhealthy or harmful to you, you're just going to build habits to keep doing that kind of stuff. So that's kind of how I took it. Um, yeah, because she was trying to encourage people not to be like perfect, not practice makes perfect, but rather to build good habits and consistency over perfection. So I think maybe that's the theme of this week is consistency over perfection. Um, now there might be other parts of the world that don't agree with that. And by that, I specifically mean like my job that I don't love doing where everything there has to be perfect literally all the time. Um, which is its own issue, but, um, yeah, but it is something that I go over with my therapist every week is kind of along the lines of giving grace to ourselves, um, you know, and taking more of the wins rather than the losses or seeing things more as a win rather than like a loss or a problem. I don't know. Um, I'm just kind of sorting this out as I say it out loud, but yeah, we're going to, we're going to take that as the lesson of the week is, uh, consistency over perfection. If that could be like a clip of this section, if I like end up highlighting this later, maybe I should do that with, um, with my streams. I don't know. Tell me what you think about this. Thinking about maybe taking each week's stream and like, I have this stream, my name, and then like the date it is when I upload it or post it places but sometimes my streams like I try to make it in not in theme with something but like I usually find that wherever I'm at in life there ends up being a theme um whether I mean for them to be or not like every single time I've read out of my little devotional thing here in the stream um it's always like without without even looking at it before I don't look at what it is before I read it um it's been something that, like, backs up what I've been saying, like, five seconds before I open the book. Uh, and I also sometimes don't like opening it until the day of in the stream because I think it's fun to be surprised by what it says and see how it applies to the previous week or that day. Um, I think it's a little bit more fun to kind of, yeah, go with what fate brings. I like that idea going with what fate has for somebody, um, and yeah, so we're gonna do that in a little while, I don't know if I want to do that yet, we're still, oops, it was probably really loud, I'm sorry, um, I hit the edge of my phone on my desk, <laughs> um, but yeah, also, I have my, um, oh my gosh, Evie, be decent, oh my god, um, it's fallen off, I've got my little Evie here for the stream. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting the camera is like opposite of me, so I keep moving this way and I'm like, why isn't she in the shot? Because I'm seeing a mirrored image of myself. Um, but yeah, this is my little plushie. If you have your little plushie, this is, um, sorry, I keep hitting the desk. Um, this is the kind of stream where we welcome having those sorts of things, yes, even as adults, because even adults need things that comfort them, and we are not here to judge what brings someone comfort. Um, we are here to encourage being relaxed, uh, getting cozy, and kind of just getting in tune with yourself before the week ahead. So that's the goal here. So we're not, no judgment if you happen to have plushies or, um, yeah, whatever cozy items you have, bring it here. It is uh, the kind of stream where all are welcome. So, yeah, we're not... Oh my gosh. Um, we're not going to drop her like I literally almost just did. Because, yeah. 
I don't know. I always find it cozy in like ASMR videos because I really like watching ASMR. I always find it cozy to see like nice backgrounds like this, like somebody with like stars on their walls or something. Um, so I'm trying to kind of create that for myself too in this little stream. Uh, little rainmaker and plushies. So now that we've settled in a little bit and since we did have technical difficulties, I always do the full hour even if I start late. So this will be until about um, 11.30 my time, which is central time, um, and then wherever you're at in the world. So it's 10.48 where I am now, so about 40 minutes, 45-ish um, minutes uh, make up for some of the time. But yeah, let us get started. Last time we did... Um, Oh my gosh, what was the game we did last time? Song Association. Song Association. I thought that would be fun to, to play again this week. Seemed to, seemed to go well. And it was just, it was fun. Kind of made the hour pass by kind of quickly, which was surprising. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that again today. Oh, what's a word? Here we go. Summertime. Oh, I do. <laughs> All I can think of is the Lana Del Rey song, but I don't know that song apart from like the main chorus line. I, I like her. I just don't know that whole song. I'm going to look it up here. Um... Gosh, what movie was this song in? I feel like it was in a movie that summer that it came out. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just mixing together everything during that point of time. Um, yeah, we'll do... Uh, we'll just do like the first verse-ish chorus and main chorus because that's all I know of it so uh the rest of it looks familiar but I don't remember <laughs> okay summertime um okay yeah that is how it goes kiss me hard before you go summertime sadness I just wanted you to know the baby or the best I got that summertime summertime sadness S -s -s summertime summertime sadness got that summertime summertime sadness oh I don't remember the rest but I think it goes like that yeah, that's all we're gonna do with that song. <laughs> okay, next song. Let's do another one. Bin. B E E N. Oh my god, what song has been in it? Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking since you've. Since you've been gone, since you've been gone, since you've been gone, can I do it like Kelly Clarkson? No. Can I do it in a cozy way? We're gonna try. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah, that is how it goes. Cool, cool, cool. Here's the thing, we started out friends It was cool, but it was all pretend Yeah, yeah Since you've been gone mm. You dedicated, you took the time Wasn't long till I called you mine Yeah, yeah Since you've been gone and all you'd ever hear me 
say is how I picture me with you. That's all you'd ever hear me say. But since you've been gone, I can breathe for the first time. I'm so moving on, yeah, yeah. Thanks to you, now I get what I want. Since you've been gone. I'm gonna keep going, I like this song. <laughs> How can I put it, you put me on. I even fell for that stupid love song. Yeah, yeah. Since you've been gone. How come I never hear you say, I just want to be with you? Guess you never felt that way. But since you've been gone, I can breathe for the first time. I'm so moving on, yeah, yeah. Thanks to you, now I get, I get what I want. Since you've been gone You had your chance, you blew it Out of sight, out of mind Shut your mouth, I just can't take it Again and again and again and again mm -hmm. But since you've been gone I can breathe for the first time I'm so moving on, yeah, yeah Thanks to you, now I get I get what I want I can breathe for the first time I'm so moving on, yeah, yeah Thanks to you, now I get you should know that I get, I get what I want Since you've been gone Since you've been gone Since you've been gone That one's fun to sing in a low-key uh, setting I like So lyrics sure i'm coming home i want the world to know gotta let it show i'm coming i'm coming out dun, dun. i want the world to know gotta let it show mm. hit oh sorry if i if you have your headphones up and i just yelled into your ears. I'm so sorry. Um, do I know how to spell this? I do. Let's see. What was the word? It was hit. Is that what made me think of the song? It is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, baby, baby, how was I supposed to know that something wasn't right here? Oh, baby, baby, I shouldn't have let you go. And now you're out of sight, yeah. Show me how you want it to be. Tell me, baby, cause I need to know now. Because my loneliness is killing me And I, I must confess, I still believe Let's see if I can hit the high notes Still, <laughs> still believe It's too high for me When I'm not with you, I lose my mind 
Give me a sign. Hit me, baby, one more time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're going to keep going. Own. Own. Ooh, I do know this one. <laughs> yeah, no, come back to me. Lyrics, there we go. Own. Cool, 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 cool. Um. <laughs> you don't own me. I'm not just one of your many toys. You don't own me. Don't say I can't go with other boys. Don't tell me what to do. And don't tell me what to say. And please, when I go out with you, don't put me on display. Cause you don't know me. Don't try to change me in any way. You don't own me. Don't tie me down cause I'd never stay, stay. <laughs> I don't tell you what to do. I don't tell you what to say. So just let me be myself. That's all I ask of you. I'm young and I love to be young. I'm free and I love to be free to live my life the way I want. What are the rest of the lyrics? <laughs> to say and do whatever I please. You don't know me. try to change me no no you don't know me no 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 you don't own me that one's fun that one i would really like to do an actual cover of because this is just for fun these are just covers i'm doing in a live stream um not that doing an actual cover wouldn't be fun but i really want to do like when I say do an actual cover, I mean actually produce a cover. Like for me, that means doing acapella and layers and harmonies and stuff like that. That's what I mean when I mean do a cover. Um, but I, it takes a lot of time. Uh, it takes a lot of time because then I want to re-record it. And I want it to make it sound perfect. Even if it's just a cover, I want it to sound like good quality. Um, so it takes some time but that one would be so fun to do an actual cover of Ooh, do like a jazzy bluesy acapella harmony cover i'm getting excited about it okay <laughs> let's see the next word is time okay yeah all right um actually before we go into the next song i'm gonna take a drink of water i'm gonna encourage you to do the same we stay hydrated on this channel i'm gonna just move the mic away real quick Hopefully that wasn't too loud. I was trying to be mindful of any people with misophonia, which is something I also deal with. Um, I try to make sure I'm not making any wet mouth sounds. Um, it's not always perfect. It's a live stream, so I can't always control how it comes back. Um, but I do try, so I'm hoping if I move the mic away, it won't be like as bad. Um, let's see. Right, we were doing time. Um, <laughs> all right. No, I want it to be lower. Okay. Lying in my bed, I hear the clock, hear 
the clock tick and think of you caught up in circles confusion is nothing new flashback warm nights almost left behind suitcase of memories time after sometimes you picture me Hmm. we're just gonna redo that one sometimes you picture me i'm walking too far ahead you're calling to me i can't hear what you said this is really testing how much i actually know these songs because obviously we all know the chorus of this song let's be real but how well do you know acapella the verses i don't know them that well <laughs> this is a fun game though i like it um let's see ah uh, we're just gonna go to the part we all know at this point and you say go slow and i fall behind the second hand unwinds if you're lost and you look and you will find me time after time if you fall i will catch you i'll be waiting time after time if you're lost and you can look and you will find me time after time if you fall i will catch you i will be waiting Waiting. <laughs> time after time time after time all right we're gonna we're gonna keep going choose a different word because oof um cherry Ooh. oh what do i know that has cherry in it um I know that's like the She's my cherry pie song And I'm also thinking of Cherry Wine by Hozier But I don't I don't know that song well enough to actually sing it So I will wait until I actually know that song well enough To like bring that out confidently Instead I am thinking of the one by Haley Kiyoko And Fletcher um, Which one of these days I want to have like actual theme nights for this Where I have only think of songs in certain genres um like in june i definitely plan on like, having the entirely pride month themed like every single sunday that month is gonna be a pride themed um stream but for tonight oh i haven't heard this song in a while too let's hope i still remember it oof um I hope the audio just like isn't atrocious tonight with me having the mic so close to me and like me making so many like kind of noises and stuff um hopefully it's not like scratchy and gross and like just awful um let's see <laughs> sure we'll just do the chorus of this for funsies mm -hmm. Is it the same note just in a high to low? Might be. Anyways, um, Cherry, hello, nice to meet you. My name's Carrie. We should rendezvous sometime on Sherry. I want you on top of me like Cherry, like Cherry. My cherry. Yeah, that's all we're gonna do for that one. Uh, husband. Husband. Do I know a song that has the word husband in it? Oh. Um. I'm thinking of the Nina Simone song, Be My Husband, but I don't... 
I can just remember the edge here in version to be honest. Um, yeah, that's what it is. Okay, because it's the same tune that repeats over and over again into each verse. Um, yeah, that's what I thought it was. I'm looking up the lyrics real quick. All right. Be my husband, I'll be your wife. Be my husband, I'll be your wife. Be my husband, I'll be your wife. Love and honor you for all your life. Singing. Hope that and now I know of me good. Oh, daddy, no, no, love me good. Oh, no, oh, daddy, no, 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 love me good. Oops, I messed up the words. <laughs> oh, daddy, no, no, love me good. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands over here. My little Christina moment. Mm -hmm. Um, That's a fun song. I like that one. Also, if you are an Ed Sheeran fan, he does a really fun cover of it. Um, I like it. Insatiable. Oh, I don't know if this song has this in it. It would really help if I could spell insatiable. Insatiable. Um, it might not be. I think I'm thinking of Irresistible. Um, and I'm not thinking of the Fall Out Boy song. I'm thinking of a very old Jessica Simpson song called Irresistible. I was obsessed with the song because they had it on the Ms. McGuire TV show soundtrack. Yes, I'm that old. Um, and I remember... Uh, listening to it and it was like the Disney-fied version because like uh, in the pre-chorus she sings like in the pre-chorus on the Disney version of the CD she sings I know I should say no and instead <laughs> in the actual song she says I know I meant to say no and I don't know why they changed it I guess maybe it was enough of a difference they thought like it would sound less sexual but like she literally says he's irresistible, like, up close and personal. They weren't really getting out of that one. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, I love this song. I can't think of a song with Insatiable in it, but fuck it. We're doing Irresistible instead. Um, yeah, we'll just do the first, uh. We'll just, we'll sing until our heart's content. Um, also, if you're an 1111 person, it's 1111, make a wish. Um, I don't know if those little superstitions are real or if they work. I like them. I like, I'm the same kind of person who if I like accidentally pull out an eyelash, I see it and I like make a wish and blow away because why not? It doesn't hurt anything. Worst case scenario is it doesn't work. Best case scenario is something good happens that day. Either way, it really doesn't hurt to believe in, like, little things like that just for funsies. As long as you're not depending your whole life on it, because then that might be dangerous. But if it just adds to your day, why not? <laughs> um, yeah, let's do the Jessica Simpson one. Don't you try to tell me it. Don't you try and tell me that he's not my type To hide what I feel inside When he makes me weak with desire That lyric's different in the CD too! Anyways, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know that I'm supposed to make him wait Let him think I like the chase But I can't stop thinning the fire I know I meant to say no But he's irresistible Up close and personal Now inescapable 
I can hardly breathe more than just physical, deeper than spiritual. His ways are powerful and irresistible to me. Oh, I can hardly breathe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that song a lot. About to have like a little early 2000s, 90s jam session after this. <laughs> um, company. Oh, no, I don't know. A single song that begins, that has company in it. Um... <laughs> Unsure. Hmm. You know what I should do? I actually should probably set a little timer for myself when I do this. Um, play it like how Song Association does, where it only gives you like 10 seconds to figure it out. And if you don't sing within those 10 seconds, you like lose it um yeah let's try it that way no not yet ah google has one just start when i click on it okay um sign okay oh i did think of one i saw the sign do, 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 do. I saw the sign. The reason I don't like the timer, though, is because sometimes I think of a song that, like, is kind of a... It's not really a song I would like to sing. Um. Oh! Duh. I can sing this one instead. Um. Here we go. Just stop your crying, it's a sign of the times. Welcome to the final show. Hope you're wearing your best clothes. Mm. I think that's it. I don't remember. We're just gonna go straight to the chorus. Just stop your crying, it'll be alright. They told me that the end is near. We've got to get away from here. Oh. That's a very good song. I don't want to sing more of it, though, because I might get emotional about it. I don't know if you guys are also processing, or processing. If you guys are also sad about Liam Payne of One Direction dying, I'm sad about that. Um... I'm a fan of One Direction. I had a lot of fun listening to them back in the day with my friends and stuff and just by myself and a lot of good memories and it's always sad when somebody that you like grew up with or like, you know, grew up with or just really enjoyed their music, etc. when they pass. It's just, it's sad because that kind of, whether you realize it or not, the art someone makes, even if you don't know them, kind of becomes a part of you and almost almost makes you feel like you do know them even if you don't actually know them <laughs> um yeah and it's just grief is complicated i don't know i've been seeing a lot of discourse on twitter which twitter is just like really toxic now i don't know if it ever wasn't toxic to- toxic wow um but i've been seeing a lot of discourse on there about people like deciding if they should be allowed to grieve or not and yeah, like, it's a human that lost his life. Of course you should grieve, like, or, like, if it's a human who lost his life that you care for, yeah, of course you should grieve if you want to grieve. That's what I mean to say, not you should grieve, but, like, if it's something that is affecting you and hurting you and you are in grief over it, then grieve. Don't, like, deny yourself of that just because somebody else, like, doesn't agree or something. Grief is complicated complicated wow so speaking today um we're gonna move on to the next word sunshine um ooh, not sun sunshine hmm mm-hmm. 
since I am making up my own rules for this and it does not matter. <laughs> um, I, the first thing I thought of was Casey and the Sunshine Band, even though it's not a song title, I don't care. Um, I'm seeing if there's a song of theirs so I know that I could sing. <laughs> there's a couple of them, but I don't feel like singing that. Um, You know what that makes me think of, though, is I know it's not the same band. I'm thinking of the Love and Spoonful, because for some reason in my brain I associate those two bands into the same uh, time frame. And I'm thinking about the song Do You Believe in Magic. I want to sing that instead. Why not? I could stick to the rules of the game, but it's for funsies. Um... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Do you believe in magic? In a young girl's heart How the music can free you Wherever it starts And it's magic If the music is groovy It makes you feel heavy Like an old time movie I'll tell you about the magic It'll free your soul But it's like trying to tell a stranger About a rock and roll Making sure There we go If you believe in magic, don't bother to choose If it's jug band music or rhythm and blues Just go and listen, it'll start with a smile It won't wipe off your face no matter how hard you try <laughs> Your feet start tapping and you can't seem to find how you got there So just blow your mind we're gonna skip an entire verse um <laughs> believe in the magic of a young girl's soul believe in the magic of a rock and roll believe in the magic that can set you free ooh, ooh, talking about magic do you believe in magic? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you believe in magic? Mm -hmm. I always think of Ali and AJ when I hear that song. Uh, shout out if you also think of them with that song. Um, game. Ooh, ooh, there are a couple different songs with the word game. <laughs> now she sings higher than I do, so I always have to transpose these songs lower because I do have a lower. I have a higher speaking voice when I'm singing. I feel more comfortable in my lower register. I just do. Um, uh, water break real quick. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Yeah, when I think of games, I think, or game, I think of the song Games by Tessa Violet. Um, yeah. We'll make this work for my register. We'll figure it out. Um. Okay. Oops. I don't want a piece of that. Cause I know there's no peace in that. I can tell myself a thousand times. But... You can make a toy of me, and I'll agree that Maybe I just couldn't see, I couldn't see that there ain't nothing wrong with us at all But you keep on playing games with me, games And you always gotta play with me, play 
And I hate the way you break and you take and you tear me down Boy, you really ought to knock it off right now Games with me Games <laughs> And you always gotta play with me Play And I hate the way you break and you take and you tear me down Boy, you really ought to knock it off right now Okay yeah, we'll keep doing this one. I like it. <laughs> I know I should trust my gut. Cause I know that there's something up. I just hate the place that, that path would take me down. And you say that there's nothing wrong and no longer to take you at your word, but then. That part's tricky. Though I love those lyrics, but it is tricky. Um. You say that there's nothing wrong, and I long to take you at your word, but then. And I always, because I, I don't know if it's the way she sings it, or if it's the way I hear it when she sings it, but I always hear, and all along, instead of, and I long. It's one of those, like, little lyric things where I'm just like, I've been singing it wrong this whole time. Um, <laughs> that happened recently with uh, a Kelly Clarkson song. It might have been Since You've Been Gone that I realized I was singing wrong the whole time. No, it was Miss Independent. Um, it was something in the second verse, and I was watching the Terrell show with Kelly Clarkson as the guest, and they were singing Miss Independent, and he told her, like, he had just learned that day that he was singing her lyrics wrong, and as soon as he said it, I'm like, well, I didn't know I was singing those lyrics wrong either. <laughs> um, anyways, that's just besides the point. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to keep going with that one, but I do love Tessa Violet. Um, I've gotten to meet her twice. No, I've gotten to meet her three times now. In 2019, when she went on her, um, I like the idea of tour tour, which was really fun. And then 2022 on her Rise of the Phoenix tour. And then 2023 last year on her My God tour. I got to meet her all three times. Super nice, super down to earth, super friendly, very chill, very chill with like the meet and greet vibes where like she'll tell you flat out, like you can have your, your phone, you can videotape, you know, like capture these memories go for it because i know some artists are like no no cameras not in this like space and stuff which is fair you do you whatever makes you feel comfortable but yeah she's very nice um yeah very chill i think last time in the last meet and greet she was like about to get married and we all just kept asking her about the wedding <laughs> um which is fun. I made some really fun friends in that fandom too. I'm a really big fan of making friends in fandom spaces. I think that's fun. Like I'm a big nerd and I love making, uh, I love being able to speak. I love making friends in fandoms. Um, so anyways, I just had to take the opportunity to gush about how cool she is of a person and how much, how much I love listening to her music and getting to interact with the art she puts out there. Um, I'm very appreciative of the art she chooses to share with us because it's all wonderful. Um, ooh, especially have, if you've heard the song, uh, my body is my buddy with her and Brie, Bri, Brie. Um, I love that song. Beautiful. Very, very good song about kind of rewriting the relationship to your body and realizing it's like your friend rather than your enemy that to take your feelings out on or to yeah it's meant to encourage body positivity and help us better the relationship to ourselves and i love that um 10 out of 10 cozy vibes let's see hey have discord i'm so sorry i'm just now looking at the chat um i sometimes get distracted and carried away i do have discord um i actually have a little server i made but like i never use it because i always forget <laughs> um but yeah if you actually let me just share this in the chat because that might work a little better 
do 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 just uh feel free to think about the jeopardy theme song music as i type this in here <laughs> ah well you know what it's not letting me do it right now but that's fine i think maybe i don't have everything set up i do have a discord i'm going to actually I will attach that to my Twitch a little bit later. Let me make sure everything's set up first and then I'll attach it. Um, Cause I do have a cozy little space. So yes, is it the same username? Um, it should be. I also am trying to create like a little server that's called Sammy's Cozy Music Club, which I thought would be cute and like a nice fun place to talk about music. But yes. So let me yay <laughs> let me refresh um, the live stream of watching Sammy try to figure out technology in real time um, we will restart it anyways in the meantime while that is loading and doing its thing because it looks like discord needed to update itself real quick there we go I think I accepted. If you're Vios, then yeah. Tis you, tis you, yay. <laughs> um, I actually don't know how to stream to Discord. I, I am brand new at this. So if you have any tips or tricks, I would love to hear it. I. All I have is Streamlabs, and it's like the free version that I do through Twitch. I don't know how to do anything else. Maybe it, maybe it lets you do it through Streamlabs. I don't know. Um, <laughs> like one-on-one, -on -one, is that okay? Oh, um, I haven't been doing one-on-one -on -one streams yet, but possibly. Um, thank you. I dig your vibe so far, too. <laughs> um... Yeah, right now I've just been doing kind of a casual general cozy music hour just for funsies. Um, yeah, just for no particular reason except for I need a, a chill way to end the week and go into the next week. And singing is a chill way for me to do that. Let's see. Possibly, possibly. I'll, I'll chat with you outside of the outside of the stream and we can we can chat <laughs> um in the meantime oh it's almost at the hour i didn't realize it um at the let's see every stream i like to do a little cozy devotional that's just like a casual mindfulness thing i've been reading from this book i got forever ago which is terribly reflective um staying strong by demi lovato and it's something I got like 10 years ago and I'm terrible at devotionals, but oh my God, I'm terrible at like making sure the mic doesn't sound like crap. Um, but I've been trying to end each stream or at least put somewhere in there like a little mindfulness thing um, just to kind of give us something nice to reflect on on the week ahead. I don't like to read it before the actual day of because I think it's kind of nice to have it be a little surprise and see if it goes, I don't know, see if it goes with the theme of the last week, see if it leads the theme of the next week. I just like the element of surprise. So I'm going to read that. Um, and they're short. They're like, they're not long. <laughs> For today's October 20th. Uh, if we wait for the moment when everything, absolutely everything is ready, we shall never begin. Ivan Turgenev? Turgenev? Sure. That is good. That is something I've been thinking of this week, actually. Don't sit around and wait for the timing to be just right. There's no such thing as a perfect opportune moment. Had I waited for the perfect moment to start my career, I wouldn't be where I am today. So work hard and dream big. You just have to go out there and make it happen for yourself. Goal... <laughs> Dang, stop procrastinating a goal you have. I feel very called out. <laughs> um, I am the queen of procrastination, and I feel attacked personally. <laughs> Came out to have a good time, and honestly feeling so attacked right now. Anyways, um, <laughs> no, but that's a good thought. <laughs> 
I make fun, but that's a very good thought, actually. Um, yeah, so maybe that's something to think of the week ahead. If there's something you're procrastinating, maybe work on what is standing in your way, um, or think about what obstacles are there and what you can do to work forward through them. I'm going to try to take that advice myself. I'm terrible at it. I love to start projects. I hate finishing them. The follow through is so stressful, um, but it doesn't hurt to try. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. It is getting close to the time. So I'm going to do one more song. If you have a request, put it in the chat and I might know it. If not, I am just going to choose another word from the Song Association Word Generator and see uh, if I can find another song that way. Let's see. Um, doo -doo -doo. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm trying really hard to like stay quiet and not yell into the microphone. Um, I have... I have roommates that are like quite literally directly underneath this room. I'm in the attic space and I'm trying so hard to be like chill and quiet so I don't wake everyone up. But thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry that you've been feeling that way tonight. Um, I'm glad it's helping. Quite frankly, that is why I'm also doing this live, because the Sunday scaries are real and they can be very, very isolating and lonely. So we can get through this together, right? <laughs> we, can, we can power through the next week together. Um, let's see. Do I like that song? I might like that song. <laughs> Possibly. Um, let's see. Okay, um, oh, the song lunch, or the word lunch popped up, and I thought about the Billie Eilish song, but I don't know, I don't know if I know that song well enough to sing it acapella. I do love her, though. Uh, ooh, you know what? Rain. Rain is a good way to end this one. Um, raindrops. Drop, drop. Last week, I my little cozy oh my gosh I'm gonna drop this and try to do this but um uh, little cozy humidifier in up and every time I tried to show it or do anything with it I kept singing the raindrop drop drop song and I can't help it <laughs> this is just how my brain works I find an association it sticks in there um but we are not singing that song to end of the week. <laughs> we are singing raindrops keep falling on my head. <laughs> Much more mild vibes. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Oh, how does that song start? Um, yeah, that's how it starts. Okay. Raindrops keep falling on my head. And just like the guy whose feet are too big for his bed Nothing seems to fit Those raindrops are falling on my head They keep falling So I just did me some talking to the sun And I said I didn't like the way he got the things done Sleeping on the job <laughs> Though, though <laughs> Oh no, I'm out of it. <laughs> Those raindrops are falling on my head. They keep falling. But there's one thing that I know. The blues they sent to meet me won't defeat me. It won't be long till happiness steps up to greet me. Raindrops are falling on my head But that doesn't mean my eyes will soon be turning red Crying's not for me Cause I'm never gonna stop the rain by complaining Because I'm free Nothing's worrying me mm -hmm. Till happiness step 
lips up to greet me. Raindrops keep falling on my head, but that doesn't mean my eyes will soon be turning red. Crying's not for me, cause I'm never gonna stop the rain by complaining, because I'm free. Nothing's worrying me. Cool. <laughs> that is how we're going to end this week's stream. I wish you all of the cozy vibes. I hope this next week ahead goes wonderfully for you. I, yeah, I hope great things happen. And if they don't, I hope you find persistence in the week ahead and trust that whatever season you're in it's only just a season for better or for worse and things can always get better and if they get worse they'll always get better again it's the, how life goes it has to so um yeah i hope you are able to have a nice cozy night if you're in a place where it's bedtime get some sleep if you're in a place where it's morning or day i hope you have a nice relaxing day and from me and evie have a good night Goodbye.